Hi everyone, about a minute on my visit to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant today, and I have to say, it's pretty sobering. I'm in Japan, I'm in uh, Fukushima Prefecture, which is uh, about three hours train ride north of Tokyo, and I'm standing outside the uh, Great East Japan Earthquake and Nuclear Disaster Memorial Museum behind me. Um, I, you know, I, I focused for a long time on nuclear power and I'm adamantly pro-nuclear, but I have to tell you, going to the Fukushima Daiichi plant was sobering today, very sobering. Uh, the mess there is just enormous. Uh, the cost to clean it up is going to be about a billion and a half dollars per year for the next 30 to 40 years. Um, I've seen industrial plants before, but this one is daunting. Um, but moreover, I think the thing that uh, really struck me by coming to Fukushima was understanding that we talk about Fukushima and we only focus on the nuclear plant, but this area around here, uh, there were between 18 and 20,000 people drowned and about uh, within a few minutes of the tsunami hitting uh, the coast here. Um, the loss of life here was just enormous. Um, we associate with Fukushima with only with the nuclear plant, but Fukushima Prefecture, as well as Sendai, the other areas around here, just got devastated. And the, the, the area around here, the population has mostly moved out there. A lot of abandoned buildings. Um, it's been a sobering, uh, but incredibly interesting uh, visit here to Japan. Uh, the visit has been sponsored by the Federation of Electric Power Companies of Japan. And it's flattered to be invited. Uh, amazing group of people um, that I'm with here from the uh, Washington Policy and Analysis. And uh, uh, just wanted to give you that quick update. Uh, enough for now. Uh, follow me on Substack, would you, robertbryce.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See ya.